Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I um, hope you had a great weekend. I'm going to be doing a recap today on the Mile High Pro Show that happened this past weekend. Um, it's going to be a short one. This was very, very easy to judge, in my opinion, after seeing the pictures. I saw a few videos as well, so uh, let's get into it. So, um, I actually did this show, um, you know, this past weekend. You know, she's been competing a lot this year, the past couple of years. Um, I believe she did it so that she can, you know, uh, win her title again because she's been winning the show consecutively um, for the past few years. So, you know, I believe that's why she did it. I think this was actually uh, this could have been her best shape for the entire year so far. This is the tighter show race have been has been so far, um, definitely. Um, her pose here is very very good. It's the best front pose I've ever seen her do, to be honest. Um, in a few pictures, it wasn't exactly like this, but in this picture specifically, this is the best one, the best front pose I believe she has ever done. Um, so far so um, very good very good fullness very good ratio here the waist is super super tight um, shoulders are good not too full you know glutes are full leg is full perfect separate this is perfect bikini conditioning so they really nailed it here um, back pose is perfect too I wouldn't have the hair covering the shoulders here because it kind of takes away from the x-frame um, you know as a bikini athlete you want to have uh, a complete physique from bottom to top here and if you put your hair in the back here and you could show your full shoulders um it's gonna look a lot better so i would keep the hair behind the shoulders and it's gonna give her an even better look and a better x-frame too um second place girl very impressive Corey. i believe she won the overall at the uh you know junior nationals or what whatever the show was called a couple weeks ago very very good shape um crazy x-frame crazy x-frame she was a little bit i don't know if it was spilled or soft a little bit in the leg here it's a little bit water here waist is super tight um you know such a great you know it's it's crazy you know winning the winning your pro card and then two weeks later coming second to you know uh top olympian so she actually 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 didn't win this this show flawlessly i don't understand how that's possible because to me she was you know easily the best in this show but actually didn't have a flawless score in the show um two judges had Corey in first based off the scorecard um you know which is interesting so uh, back pose really good. She's bending her knees here a little bit too much, and it's kind of making it look a little bit squatted down. Um, if she stood a little bit taller, her glutes would actually be a lot rounder on the top here, and I hope she does that for her next show. Um, definitely give her a little bit of a better look for sure. Um, I'm going to compare you here, her to Ashley in the back pose, and you're going to see what I mean. She's a little bit more straight. This is not the best for every bikini athlete, but for Ashley it is. But you can see the difference here with her legs really, um, her knees really pushed out versus Ashley really, really tall. It's a very, very differently executed back pose here. And once again, this was a very easy show to judge, I believe. Um, you know, it was very clear cut. I, it's makes perfect sense why the judges uh, put these girls in this order. Um, Jimmy here, uh, great shape. She, I said it the last show too. Um, hopefully she fixed this. The quad is too big in the front pose. She needs to, her foot here is profile. She needs to put it at about a, uh, you know, maybe not a 90 degree angle, but maybe like a 60 degree angle and keep her glued to the front higher quad. The quad's too big here in the front. Um, it overpowers her front pose. And you can just see here, like versus like an Ashley, like you see like how it's a lot more, it's a lot more of a streamlined aesthetic look here than versus a, you don't want a big quad, um, you know, overpowering your front pose here. And this is just too much for bikini. She needs to hide this quad with her posing. And you can see the foot position here is different with Ashley K. She has like maybe like a 25, 30 degree angle. Um, and this girl has a full, uh, you know, profile foot here. And she needs to fix this because her quads are too big here in the front pose. Conditioning is okay. I've seen her better than this, to be honest. Uh, she's she's going to be um, a decent Olympian, um, you know, in the next couple years when she fixes these these small things great great potential uh she's been tighter before for sure uh she's not at her best at this show for sure um you can see her back pose here a little bit watery i don't know if she spilled or she was too flat i can't really tell but um i've seen her glutes much fuller i've seen her legs tighter i've seen you know the shape of her glutes is really really good her quads still overpower her back pose here a little bit compared to the glutes so her obviously i don't I don't think she's training quads. If she is, then I, I I mean, she probably should not be doing that because they overpower the front pose and the back pose. But this can be fixed with posing in her back pose and the front pose can be fixed with posing as well. So um, if I was for, I wouldn't be training the quads and I would fix the posing. That is what's hurting her definitely uh, compared to the other girls. Even versus this girl, like you can see, you know, qu uh, the quad here is a lot bigger um, than the girl that did that beat her here. So... Jimmy could have, if Jimmy was tighter, 
and she fixed this front post. She hasn't. This is how she's been posing all the time. I hope she fixes it soon. She could have probably come in second place. This girl is very strong. Her V taper up top is crazy. Arm is a little bit stiff in the front post. She's gonna have a little bit more trouble when she comes into a little bit of a harder show. But uh, yeah, for your first pro show coming off a of, you know pro card win, it's unbelievable second place. So fourth place girl. Um, this girl is very pretty girl. Um. Still, her her muscle. She she looks still a little bit of a baby baby muscle. Like she needs more density and hardness. But the shape is really 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 nice. Her glutes are super high, super round. Um, she could obviously be a little bit leaner here. Um, this looks like a natural athlete. I don't know if it is or not. Um, uh, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, she I would she just needs to be training for a couple more years and keep growing out her physique. Her her structure is perfect. I mean, it's a perfect bikini structure she just has baby muscle it's not as dense and that's not a you know that's not a knock on or anything she just seems this looks like young muscle which needs you know t more time under tension so you can see here like i'll sh show you compared to ashley which obviously has been training for a long time like you can see the difference in the muscle like see i was kind of like softer it's not as dense ashley is like hard dense muscle that's looks like it's been you know under under weights for <laughs> a long time um, even the back pose here, her glutes need to be a little bit bigger. She can grow everywhere a little bit more. Um, you can see her, it's just a density. She needs just more overall density in the hamstrings and the glutes. You see it too. Even if she was a little bit leaner, it wouldn't have made that much of a difference. She would have looked a little bit better if she was a little bit tighter, but she just needs a little bit more muscle and a little bit more density. And that's just going to come from, you know, training over time. But yeah, really, really good shape. That girl, great potential. P fifth place here was, um, Ellie. Ellie just waist wasn't, I spoke about Ellie in a, you know, um, past shows before and i feel like she's an athlete that's very hard to peak i think she has a very fast metabolism that's what her body looks like but i mean she either it's hard to get her legs like not too shredded with her waist not bloated so her waist is just bloated here I, that's probably going to be the knock on her for this show um you can see here it's just the waist is just watery um a little bit fullness is good i don't know if she spilled um that probably she could have probably ate too much food that's that's what it looks like here she is lean enough you can see like crazy lines in her legs and stuff too um this this is her, I would say, I don't want to use the word worse, but this is her, um, not her best package this year. So she's been better at um, all the other shows this year. And this is probably, this could just be like, you know, a, you know, um, you know, the woman's week or whatever, you know, th things like that. Like I spoke about Alessia, you know, a few shows ago, she came 10th and then she won her pro show like right after because it was, she was on her week, which could be bloated. So it could be that. I don't know if it's that, but I mean, it could be. Many other factors, but yeah, I would just the waist needs to be a little bit tighter. We've seen we've seen Ellie here this year, um, a lot tighter than that in the waist. Um, and this is the last girl, sixth place girl. Um, I believe we've commented on this girl before. Uh, she's making the same posing mistakes as last time. Feet too close. Um, leg is bent here. You should never have both your knees bent in bikini. This girl has an insane structure, and just her posing is very flawed. If she fixes her posing here, her, she needs a good posing co coach. I don't know who's coaching her with posing, but. Her free position is not good. She needs to be um, angled a little bit differently. Her knee should be not bent here. Her chest should be taller. Her shoulders should be. There's so many little things that she can fix. And her, like, she has an insane structure. Like, probably if she, I, I want to go on a limb here and say if she actually posed flawlessly, she would could have come top three. So this is just opposing. Her conditioning is fine. Back shot could have been a little bit tighter. Um, Fullness is very good. Shoulders, you can see, are very full. But you can see she has really wide clavicles. She can has an excellent X-frame, you can tell. But she's just not executing the posing properly enough to show off her physique here, which is unfortunate because, you know, bikini is 50% how you look, 50% presentation. And if you're not showing off your body properly, you know, this is going to happen. You're going to place lower and lower, um, you know, based on that, which is unfortunate because this girl has such a great, this great shape. So um, let's see here. This is top three here in the front. Um, Corey needs to fix her front pose a little bit here. She's her arm is too stiff. It's not. You need to look relaxed and effortless in bikini. If you look like you're kind of like stiff and um, you know, not not. You have to be a statue, but you need to look relaxed, like very relaxed. So her arm is very like um, you know, sticking out here. Um, Ashley obviously you know overpowers both of them here. She looks she looks superior here. She needs to bring her glute a little bit more in front. And I don't like this hair in the front here. It's kind of it's a little bit messy on her. Um, if she wants to bring it in the front, it needs to always be consistent. It can't be like stuff on her shoulder and stuff too. Uh, Jimmy's waist needs to be a little bit tighter here. And you can see like Jimmy's quads here is like as big as Ashley's and Corey's quads here together just because of the foot position. So you can see like her foot position, her quads aren't nearly as big so she can get away with being a bit more profile. 
Ashley's quads are pretty big. I'm, I don't even know if she trains lower body anymore. Uh, but you can see, like, the, just the foot position on Ashley here versus um, Jimmy, like the quad. She needs to hide this quad. It's it's ruining her front pose. Um, core here can stand a little bit taller. Rotate her shoulders back. You can see how Ashley's shoulders are back here. Like, she's standing tall and shoulders back. And this girl are kind of... Um, interior rotation here a bit on the shoulder here and you could relax a little bit more um plus kind of like bringing your arm backwards like very far back to kind of um, exaggerate your x-ray is going to hurt her when it's a harder show judges don't want to see you pulling your arm back they specifically have told me that before so um yeah it's a very easy show to judge um actually first Corey second jimmy third back pose here jimmy's back pose is excellent Sorry, Jimmy's back. Sorry, I mean Corey's back pose here is excellent, but again, she's her knees are a little bit too bent. You can see that girl's standing a little bit taller, and this knee is pushed out a bit more. So she needs to find her center balance here and really um, try to look more symmetrical in the back pose as far as her legs. Maybe this leg is a bit longer, so she tends to, you know, um, push it out a little bit more. But she needs to really uh, make sure that she's symmetrical here in the back pose. It's gonna hurt her in harder shows. Ashley here obviously stands out. It may pr I think it's just the lighting too that really helps her a lot here. But um, Corey is very full. Ashley's very full. And you can see her, Jimmy, her glutes don't pop as much. She doesn't look as full and as as conditioned as she has been before. Um, Ashley, again, she's kind of covering her shoulder. You can, like, look at the difference. This is what I'm talking about, guys, before. So both these girls, hair is in the back. You see their full shoulder, shoulder, arm, beautiful shoulder, arm. And Ashley kind of, like, hair is kind of covering both the shoulders. It takes away. If she, Ashley had all of her hair on the back and, like, centered in their back, it would exaggerate her frame so much more and it would look much better. So hopefully she fixes that and put all of her hair, puts all of her hair in a back pose, not covering any of her shoulder, or any of her arms. It would look much better. Um, you know, very simple show. Um, very easy to judge. Very small show. This is definitely the easiest year um, that we've had so far in bikini for um, – to be in a bikini Olympian. And, you know, I am glad that, uh, you know, I talked about this a couple shows ago that Ashley is doing all these shows to kind of like, uh, you know, kind of be quality control for who gets into the Olympia or else it'd be a thousand girls this year in the Olympia. And it would just be too long. Like I, I do believe there's too many bikini Olympians that get into Olympia every year. And it's very hard to like peak an athlete when they have to go on stage for an hour and wait for all the girls to do their minute routine and then compare. It's just like, um, it could change the entire result of the top five Olympia, which is not what you want. I prefer much better. The, I much prefer there be like bodybuilding where there's like, you know, 15, 16 uh, Olympians and that's it. Cause it's like, it keeps the prestige in it. And it also makes it a lot better for the top athletes in the world that are there than being, you know, with 40 girls in a lineup and uh, you know, having to wait there on stage pose. It's like, it kind of, it takes away a little bit from the excitement too, in my opinion. So I'm happy Ashley do it. Ashley, actually, I was pretty surprised with uh, her post show, um, you know, post, um, you know, she obviously, she gets a high off competing, you know, she, she states that here in her post and I, you know, she's already won the Olympia three times. Ashley is, um, she's doing this for ego and legacy. There's no real other reason, you know, it's not really, um, you know, it's, it, but I, you know, I, I like it because honestly, like, it's very hard to continue doing something once you've already reached the top. Like I know too, once I first, like. When, when I win my first bikini Olympia, I'll be like, I'll be excited. But it's like, it's like, that's what I said before about like winning my first pro card. That was the high of my career, winning my first pro card. And I've won like 30 in the past three years and nothing has ever reached that feeling. So for Ashley to continue in this sport, Ashley's already won the Olympia three times and keep, and you know, um, if this lets her, you know, have a good time and want to continue and, you know, keep competing, then go ahead because she's, it's hard to keep doing something when you're already the best at it and stay motivated and stay at the top, to be honest. It's a lot, a lot easier to stay motivated when you haven't reached your, you know, the pinnacle of your career or, you know, the objective that you're trying to get to. But once you reach it, usually people tend to kind of relax. Like it's kind of like a, like a, a Tom Brady, you know, won so many Super Bowls and he just keeps winning and winning and winning. It's kind of like, what's the motivation there? You already are the best. Why do you need to keep doing it? So if this like lets her continue that, then, um, you know, she should keep doing it. Honestly, it's better for me too because I prefer less bikini Olympians at the you know Olympia. Like, and for example, that Corey athlete is so good. But if Ashley wasn't in this show, this girl would have been amateur, then turned pro in two weeks, and then been the Olympian athlete. You know, it kind of like ruins the prestige. Like, this girl is going to be Olympia Olympian very soon because she's such a great potential. But it's like Ashley kind of blocks that where it's like she kind of is quality control where it's like the only the best of the best. Like, Ashley's already lost to three girls this year. Um, um, she lost to Lauren, she lost to Ashlyn, she lost to Romina. I don't think there was any more, but I could be wrong. But I mean, like, uh, all those three are qualified for Olympia now. But I'm saying, like, if Ashley wasn't doing these shows, then uh, Wicked Girls would be 
qualifying to the Olympia and they would just be like not in the top 16. Like, what's the point, you know, just to say you're an Olympian. But I was a little bit surprised about this, uh, this little post here. It is a little bit narcissistic and narc- you know, honestly, nar- uh, narcissism isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, honestly, I think a little, a, people that like to win over and over again and like the legends um, in every sport are, have to be a little bit narcissistic. I mean, it's just part of the thing. It's like, you really like, building a legacy, you know, you're going to be a little bit narcissistic, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. And people use that word as a bad thing, but I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing if you're doing it, you know, for me and yourself here. But uh, with this post here, Ashley right? so what's next? Definitely the Muscle Contest Patriots Pro show in my hometown of Las Vegas and maybe something before that with a winky face. And then I'm just getting started with the evil laugh. So obviously Ashley's not doing this to try to make friends. Um, she, I don't know if someone said something to her or whatever, but, you know, I'm sure some people are annoyed that she's doing all the shows. Personally, I'm not. But, you know, the evil laugh thing and the wig face and the devil, you know, she's obviously trying to, like, uh, poke some buttons on some people, you know, and kind of being like, haha, like I'm doing all these shows and you're not qualifying the Olympia. Like, that's how I read it. And I'm pretty sure that's how, you know, most people read it because it's like, you don't really write evil laugh and all that stuff too if you're not doing it in a, you know, in a, I don't know, kind of like a, <laughs> I don't know really how to word it, but not in a way where you're just kind of, if she was just doing it for herself and to keep improving and stuff too, like then she wouldn't have wrote that, but she's doing it kind of like, I think bug a few people and stuff too. And I don't mind that. I, once again, I prefer that she does all these shows too. And even here, like in her story, like she writes like, uh, oh, don't you worry. I'm not stopping anytime soon. In fact, I'm just getting started. So she's definitely trying to bug people um, by doing this. She's not trying to make friends. And, you know, if that's what she wants to do, that's perfectly fine with me. And that should be fine with you guys, too. If she wants to do all these shows, like, um, I I enjoy that. So I don't really like the way she's going about it by posting things like that because it's kind of like, you know, it's going to leave a sour taste in people's mouth. Like, even me, I was kind of like, okay, like, come on, like, relax. Because it's like – um she does want to keep winning these shows and keep getting her pro cards, but she did, she did just beat someone that would just turn pro two weeks ago. So like, yes, it an accomplishment that you won again, but it's like, it's not like, you know, something like crazy that it's like, okay, like you beat like a girl that turned pro like two weeks ago. Like it's, it's, it's not a big deal. So to be like that, like, you know, um, to post something like that, it's kind of like, you know, not really in great taste, but I mean, it is what it is. She's doing another show like this weekend too. So I hope she, honestly, I hope she does every single show there is this year so that there's like, 15 bikini olympians that'd be fantastic for me and then the show would be done quickly and everyone would be peaked as well as possible because last year um there was i think like there was like it was always like 35 or 40 bikinis and like last year they said that the bikini was going to go on at prejudging and then so all the girls pumped up and then did all their stuff and then they said okay we're taking like a 45 minute break so that just kind of like ruined a lot of the peaks and like it was it kind of sucked and especially as a coach too because you're kind of like well we already like set up and like the whole game plan is to be on at this time because usually they're very accurate with the timing but last year i don't know something happened they had to take like a 45 minute judging break or whatever so um i kind of delayed the prejudging by like 45 minutes and i really like it's not in favor of the athletes because athletes that are like timed um you know to 